Okay guys, welcome back to the second part. I'm just gonna change the letter D to something more descriptive like data. And now I'm gonna define a method called uh, today forecast that will receive the data passed to it. We want uh, to call uh, this method we just defined and passed to it the data uh, returned from the observable that we subscribe to. So now inside the get today forecast method we will loop through the data. Let me just uh, rename to the forecast to today. Actually, we will loop through uh, the list and slice the data to just get uh, the first eight elements. For now, let me define an array called timeline, which is going to hold uh, the time and it is corresponding temperature for the whole day. That means eight different uh, forecast because every three hours so eight times three will give us 24 hours Now this const API date uh, will be assigned to it uh, the dates provided to us by the API. And then I'll change it to uh, timestamp. The reason we do that so we can perform a calculation or comparing if needed and that what we're going to be doing next. So this is what I was talking about the timeline. This is every hour but ours our project is going to be every three hours. So the principle is just going to be the same. But before that we're going to work on on this section here to display the Tim and some other information related to the forecast. Since we need uh, to do a comparison, I'm going to create a method called date range. It will always return a range between two dates. that has a difference of three hours minus one second like two hours 55 59 minutes and 59 seconds
now let's check if our time within our time or current time you compute a time is within three hours of the time uh, provided to us by the API Now, if these two conditions are satisfied, we're going to assign a data to a property called weather now. Okay, now let's console log to see what we got. Surprise, no data was returned. This is because of the time zone difference to solve this in the date range method I will adjust the start or the current time to match the one in the API which is based on GMT for your time zone you really need to look up and try to match your current date to the GMT this time here is based on Eastern time in the US now we should be able to receive the data The current time will return uh, the time and date of your device or of your country. So in our template file we will have a div and inside that div we will have another div that will display uh, the current time. I will use uh, the date pipe to format and display only some elements of it. The hour, the minute. the short form of the day of the week and the month as well and I will add a glass to the div I don't know if I'm ever gonna need to use it okay here we have it now we're gonna start working on this section here uh, displaying the city so I'll define a property named location which is going to 
for the city and the country as well. Initially, we looped through the city uh, through the list, so we did not have the city uh, property in it. Now we need to use uh, the original uh, data to have access to the city or the location. Now we should be able uh, to display it in our template. <coughs> location dot name it refers to the city, and location dot country is obviously refers to the country, as the name says. Okay, uh, we have some errors. This is easy to fix. It tries to display uh, the property name before we even have data on it. So we check if it is not null or if we have value on the weather now. Now that everything works good, let's see you on the next section.